This is Chris Bonet. Was like, subscribe, subscribe to TNW Wrestling on YouTube, subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris, and subscribe to this channel, Chris Bonet. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and, tic and both of my TikToks. So I'll be down there in the description box. And I'm here to do my WWE Monday Night Raw September 19th, 2022 reviews. So here we go, discussing about Monday Night Raw. Now we kick off the show with the United States Champion. Bobby Lashley versus Seth Rollins one on one for the United States Championship. So yeah, that was the first match of the night to kick off the show, and this match it was a pretty good match. Um, at one point we see Rollins try to the curb stomp onto Bobby Lashley, but Bobby Lashley uh, did not let, went down or nothing. He just stood in place to pretty much show his uh, you know, pretty much showing off his you know his muscles and all that stuff in a way. Um, uh, you know, how strong he is and all that stuff, so yeah, uh, that's what Lashley did, and then, you know, we kept on going in the match, and then, at one point, we see Rollins hit the buckle bomb onto Lashley, climbed up the top turnbuckle, jumping off at the frog splash on Lashley, pins him, but Lashley barely kicking out a two, and then there was one cool moment where, uh, Lashley was trying to hit the spear onto Seth Rollins, but Seth Rollins reverses it into the pedigree, which he did not hook none in the arms, but he still hit the pedigree, uh, and then pins him, but Lashley barely kicking out at two. But then we get to the very ending where we see Lashley locking on the Hurt Lock onto Seth Rollins. Uh, Rollins kept him trying to fight out of it, couldn't fight out of it. It looks like he was passing out at one point. But he managed to kick off the turnbuckles, rolling uh, Lashley up into a pin, pinning him one, two, Lashley kicks out, but still had the Hurt Lock locked on. And they rolled over on the referee after he got done counting, and, uh, the referee was down, but, like, he was already getting back up and stuff, but while he has back turn and all that, Rollins hit the low blow onto Bobby Lashley, breaking up the submission hold, and then that's when, uh, then that's when Seth Rollins, uh, checked on the referee, and then he was about to hit the curb stump on the Lashley, but then Matt Riddle's theme song hits, he comes running down, but then he stops in his tracks, and Rollins, like, what the hell, thought he was going to come down here and fight me in a way, but then he turns around, and then he gets hit with a spear by Bobby Lashley, and then Bobby Lashley pinned up for the one, two, three. So yeah, Bobby Lashley defeated Seth Rollins and has retained the United States Championship tonight. That's what happened. It was a pretty good match. For that match, I'll give it uh, I'll give it four stars as well. Give it. it was a pretty good match between those two guys. So yeah, go check it out if you have yet. A uh, really good match to kick off Raw. But then after that, we see Damage Control Bailey. Eos Sky and Dakota Kai getting out of the car and, you know, about to walk into the arena. So, yeah, that's what they're doing. And uh, I think up next we're going to be seeing Damage Control doing their celebration. I know they're doing their celebration for the Women's Tag Team Championships from last week. So, yeah, uh, we're going to see that tonight. And not only that, we will see uh, the Miz hosting Miz TV with Dexter Loomis as a special guest. So yeah, that'll be later on tonight as well. So yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Monday Night Raw. See you guys later until then. So the next thing that happened on Monday Night Raw, now we had Bayley and the new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Dakota Kai, EO Sky, Damage Control come out. And they was riding around like in this like golf cart, pretty much go-kart or whatever, and they drove down to the ring. With uh, with confetti and all that stuff falling down, so yeah, they were celebrating the championship win because, as you guys know, Damage Control beat it, beat Aaliyah and Raquel Rodriguez last week on Raw to win the Women's Tag Team Championship. So yeah, they're celebrating and all that stuff. But then uh, Damage Co Damage Control starts talking, talking about how they will beat anybody and all that stuff. And then Bailey was talking about how she was the first ever woman to beat Bianca Belair to pin her. For the first ever time in over 300 days and all that stuff. And they were talking about how they wouldn't do it without each other. But you know they can do it without everybody else. So yeah, that's what they said. And then they get interrupted by the Raw Women's Champion, Bianca Belair, Asuka, and Alexa Bliss. And then Bailey starts talking junk. Ba Bianca starts talking junk. And then Bailey looks at Bianca and says, "Is a, Well, why are you two here, Alexa, Asuka? Both y'all need to leave because... The only thing that Bianca only needs is the, those accessories, those earrings and the hair and all that stuff. And come fight me or whatever. And then Alexa starts talking junk and then Bailey was talking about like, oh, you're just a shell of your former self. Uh, you don't bite no more. Uh, like that Lily doll or whatever. 
and he used to pay, be a pain in my ass, but he ain't no more, and all of a sudden Alexa was like, oh, I can still bite, and I'll still be a pain in your ass, and all that, and then she says that she wants to challenge up Bailey tonight in the match, and then Bailey and the rest of the damage control stars getting out of the ring, and then Bailey tries to sneak attack Alexa, but Alexa punched her in the face, and then starts beating her down, and then Bailey got dragged out of the ring by damage control. So yeah, that's what happened there. Alexa Bliss now a challenge to Bailey for a match tonight. But up next, we're going to be seeing Austin Theory versus Kevin Owens up next on Raw. So yeah, that match will be happening up next. So yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Monday Night Raw. See you guys later until then. So the next thing that happened on Monday Night Raw, it was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was Kevin Owens versus Austin Theory one-on-one. -on -one. And yeah, it was a pretty good match now. Before the match even started, Kevin Owens was making his entrance. He gets on the apron and then Austin Theory knocks him down off the apron, attacking him. Gets out the ring, beating him down and stuff, throwing him into the barricade before the match even started. He gets in the ring, Owens gets in the ring, and Kevin Owens tells the referee to ring the bell. And then the match gets underway. It was a pretty good match. Uh, at the ending, we see uh, Kevin Owens on the top turn while going Austin Theory kept on climbing up there and stuff, but kept on getting knocked down. And he climbed up there at one point, and uh, Kevin Owens said, Who's your daddy, bitch? And then slapped him silly, knocking him off the apron, I mean, off the top turnbuckle. And then Owens was trying to hit the moonsault off the top turnbuckle, but then uh, Theory moves out the way, and Owens crashed and burned on the mat. And then uh, Theory starts taking control, lifts up Owens, hitting that uh, suplex onto the knee pretty much, pins him, but Owens barely kicking out at two. And then also Theory was going to grab the money in the bank briefcase until he realizes that Johnny Gargano has it. So yeah, Johnny Gargano is at ringside that grabbed onto the money in the bank briefcase. Uh, Theory then turns around, he gets hit with a super kick but falls into the corner, and then he gets hit with a cannonball by Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens lifts him up, throws him into the ropes, hitting the pop-up power bomb onto Austin Theory and then pins him for the one, two, three. So yeah, Kevin Owens defeated Austin Theory tonight on Monday Night Raw. That's what happened. Pretty good match for that match. I'll give it three and a half stars. That's why I'll give it great match between those two guys. Uh, probably better than their match from a few weeks ago, but yeah, still a great match. But then at the match, and it, Johnny Gargano gets in the ring. Uh, he holds the Money in the Bank briefcase up high and then drops it right on Austin Theory's balls. So, yeah, that's what happened there. But then we see Matt Riddle getting interviewed backstage, and he was talking about how since Rey Mysterio had his side, he's going to have Rey Mysterio's back tonight, and him and Rey Mysterio will be taking on Finn Balor and Damian Priest the Judgment Day later on tonight. So, yeah, that's what he said. But, yeah. That's what happened there, and yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing happens on Raw. So the next thing that happened on Monday Night Raw, we see Ridge Holland and Butch, the brawling brutes, come out and uh, started talking about how they will go on SmackDown and beat the Usos this Friday to become the new undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions and how they will run both Raw and SmackDown. But then, as soon as they said that, uh, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, the Street Profits, come out, and they said they don't run Raw, they do, and uh, that they want the smoke, pretty much, and they want to challenge them right now. So yeah, they accept, and then we get to the match underway. It was Ridge, Holly, and Butch, the Brawling Brutes, versus Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, the Street Profits, in a tag team match. And this match, it was a pretty damn good match, the fans was into and everything. A uh, very great match at one point. We see uh, Bush had on the triangle hold onto uh, Angelo Dawkins, but Angelo pretty much picks him up, lifts him up, and while he had him lifted up, that's when Montez Ford jumps off the top turnbuckle with a super blockbuster pretty much onto uh, Bush. He pins him, but then Ridge Holland breaks up the pin at two. Both of them, both team stars kept on going at it, and it looked like uh, the Street Profits was about to win the match when they when Angelo Dawkins lifts up. Rich Holland on his shoulders for like the electric chair, and then uh, Montez Ford climbs up the top turnbuckle, about to hit that blockbuster on the ridge. But then we see Butch comes up there. Uh, he grabs Montez's hands, uh, snaps his fingers, and Montez falls off the top turnbuckle. And then that's when Butch, uh, that's when Rich Holland got get off of um, Angelo Dawkins' shoulders, pushes him to the turnbuckle, tags in Butch, 
lifts up uh, Angelo Dawkins, and then that's when Butch comes in, kicks him upside the head with Rich Holly hitting a uh, power slam onto Angelo Dawkins and then pins him for the one, two, three. So, yeah, the Brawling Groups defeated the Street Profits tonight in a tag team match for that match. I'll give it three stars. That's why I'll give it a very great match. But, yeah, that's what happened there. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next segment happens on Monday Night Raw. See you guys later until then. So the next thing that happened on Monday Night Raw, now before I talk about the tag team match, we got to talk about a few things, like uh, I forgot to mention at one point that they actually showed about what happened at the press conference with uh, Roman Reigns and Logan Paul and all that, pretty much making their match official at Crown Jewel for the title, so yeah, that would be happening. And then we see uh, Rey Mysterio get an interview backstage at one point, he was talking about how he wished that he knew what was going on on inside of Dom, inside of Dominic, and then talking about how he hates that the Judgment Day influenced him to do this and stuff like that, and yeah, so yeah, that's what he was talking about. And then Matt Riddle comes up and he goes like, "Bro, you got me on your side. Let's go do this. Let's go beat the Judgment Day tonight." And yeah, that's what happened there. And then we see another backstage segment where we see uh, Johnny Gargano getting stopped by Alpha Academy and Chad Gable talking crap to Johnny Gargano talking about how. Uh, you can't be doing that to our close personal friend, Austin Theory, and all that stuff, and talking about how he, um, you know, starts talking a lot of junk to him, and then Kevin Owens comes up, talking about, oh, what's y'all's issue, and then Jack Gable was talking about, um, our issues with him, not with you, and all that, he said, and then Kevin Owens was like, well, didn't you left, like, an open challenge, like, a few weeks ago, and I accepted, well, here, how about this, you face me next week on Raw in Canada. So, yeah, that's what Owen said. And then Jack Gable was like, no, in two weeks. He goes, like, nah, next week. So, yeah, that's what happened there. And then we get to the tag team match. It was Domin- uh, it was Finn Balor and Damian Priest with Rhea Ripley and Dominic Mysterio, the Judgment Day versus Rey Mysterio and Matt Riddle in a tag team match. Uh, the Judgment Day came out. They started cutting a promo uh, talking about how they will beat Rey Mysterio and Matt Riddle tonight and what they did to Edge last week and how Dominic stood his ground and all that. And uh, Edge ain't nowhere to be seen uh, through the last week and all that stuff. And talking about how they're not just a group, they're a family. And they took a family picture pretty much and all that stuff. But then they get interrupted by Rey Mysterio and Matt Riddle. They come down to the ring. We get the tag team match on the way. It was a pretty good tag team match. But we get to the ending where it looks like Rey was going to win. He was about to hit the 619 onto uh, Finn Balor. But then Damian Priest comes up grabbing Rey. And then uh, Matt Riddle comes up hitting the floating bro off the second rope onto Damian Priest outside of the ring. And then Rey gets back into the ring. Trying to hit the 619, well, he hit the 619 onto uh, Finn Balor and climbs up the top turnbuckle. But then we see uh, Seth Rollins attacking Matt Riddle from behind, and um, Rollins then grabbed the steel chair, about to hit him with it while the referee was looking. But then Rey Mysterio comes up, grabbing the chair off his hands, and chase after Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins ran through the crowd and stuff, and not only that, Rhea Ripley did interfere a few times uh, in this match as well. But then after Ray grabbed the steel chair from Seth Rollins, Dominic goes up to him and gets on his knees and telling him to hit him upside the head with the chair. Ray wouldn't do it. He gets in the ring, then gets hit with a sling blade by Finn. Finn tags in Damien. Damien hits a choke slam onto him, tags back in Finn. Finn climbs up the top turnbuckle, jumping off with a coup de gras onto Ray and then pinning him for the one, two, three. So yeah, um... The Judgment Day defeated Rey Mysterio and Matt Riddle tonight on Monday Night Raw. That's what happened. Pretty good matchup. Go check it out if you have yet for that match. I'll give it three stars. That's why I'll give it a pretty good tag team matchup. So, yeah. I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Monday Night Raw. See you guys later until then. So, the next thing that happened on Monday Night Raw, we had The Miz and Tommaso Ciampa outside the ring. Uh, outside in the ring. And, uh, you know, it was hosting Miz TV and uh, Miz... Starts talking about Dexter Loomis, talking about how he's tired of looking over his shoulders and all that stuff. And talking about how Dexter Loomis broke into his house and how uh, Dexter Loomis drew a picture of his family and all that. Laying on the coffee table, stuff like that. So yeah, that's what the Miz was talking about. And then he starts calling out Dexter Loomis. And Dexter Loomis doesn't appear. Miz kept on talking about him. Talking about, yeah, he's scared of me and all that stuff. And in the meantime, while he's still talking, we see Dexter Loomis just cutting the a hole in the ring just to appear and stuff with a knife and he appears and 
Miz is shocked, and then Dexter and Ole Miss is trying to drag Miz into the ring, underneath the ring, but then Tommaso Ciampa comes up, uh, you know, pulling Miz, and then uh, Dexter and Ole Miss grabs Ciampa, try to drag him in the middle, try to drag him down through the ring, and then Ciampa grabs the mic, hitting him upside the head, and then he got away, and then Miz trying to look in the hole, and then Dexter Loomis appears looking at him, and then Miz and Tommaso Ciampa quickly got out the ring. So, yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty wild stuff. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention, before this actually happened, we see Seth Rollins and Matt Riddle brawling and stuff backstage before this segment. So, yeah, they was brawling and all that, and then security guards and stuff had to break up their brawl, and then uh, Seth Rollins like, okay, I accept your challenge. When and where and what time and all that stuff. So, yeah, and Matt Riddle says, extreme rules. Fight pit. So yeah, they're gonna be going against each other in the fight pit. So yeah, that will be happening in Extreme Rules, and they'll probably be pretty good. But yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Monday Night Raw. So the next thing that happened on Monday Night Raw. Now we got the main event, but before I talk about the main event, there's one segment we gotta talk about, and that is. With the Judgment Day, now we see Finn Balor, Damian Priest, Dominic Mysterio, and Ray Ripley at the Judgment Day. See, so yeah, they was getting interviewed, and then at one point we see Dominic to my guys. I think I gotta go check on my dad, and then starts laughing, talking about no, nah, I don't. <laughs> it is, you know, they're joking around about it and all that. But then all of a sudden they start walking away, and Finn Balor spots AJ Styles, and he says, "Guys, I'll talk to y'all later. I want to go talk to him." And then goes up to AJ Styles. It's just him and Finn Balor. And they started talking. Um, Finn was talking about like, hey, why why haven't you spoke to me in the last few months? So, yeah, they was uh, talking and stuff. And then AJ uh, Finn Balor was like, you know, I never even turned my back on you or ever. And Styles was like, yeah, you're right and all that. And then um, Balor gives him a hug and he says, you know, if you want to you could come join us and then walks away so yeah that's what Finn Balor says and he's trying to get AJ Styles to join the Judgment Day but then after that we get to the match it was Bailey with the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions Dakota Kai and Io Sky Damage Control versus Alexa Bliss with the Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair and Asuka at ringside in a one-on-one match so yeah Alexa Bliss versus uh, Bailey one-on-one it was an okay match at one point in this match we see Alexa hit the sunset flip onto Bailey, but Bailey kicks out at two. And then at the ending, we see Bailey trip uh, Alexa and then pins her, but had her foot on the ropes and got two count. But that's because Bianca pushes her feet off the ropes and it causes a brawl outside the ring where we see Dakota Kai pushing Bianca face first into the ring post, taking her out. And then Oscar starts beating EO Sky and Dakota Kai down. And it had Dakota at the steps, and then tries to hit a hip attack onto her, but uh, Dakota moves out of the way, and Asuka hits the still steps, getting taken out, and then we see Alexa Bliss hitting a DDT onto Bailey, climbs up the turnbuckle, but then while Dakota Kai had the referee distracted, Eo Sky pushes Alexa off the top turnbuckle, and then that's when Bailey hits the rose plant onto Alexa, pins her for the 1-2-3, so yeah, Bailey defeated Alexa Bliss tonight, on Raw, that's what happened. And then after the match ended, Damage Control starts attacking Alexa Bliss, beating her down. Asuka tries to save her, but Asuka got beaten down as well with Io Scott hitting Moonsault onto her uh, with the title around her waist and all that stuff. And then Bianca was trying to beat him down and stuff, and she actually starts, you know, taking him down, but then obviously the numbers caught back up. They start beating her down, then Bailey hits her with the rose plant, taking her down. And then she grabs the mic and she says that she challenges Bianca at Extreme Rules for the Raw Women's Championship. So yeah, that's what's going to be happening. But yeah, for that match and stuff, and what happened after the match, I'll give it all two and a half stars as well. I'll give it his okay stuff. But yeah, for match of the night, I gotta say it was Seth Rollins and Bobby Lashley. That match was pretty damn good. Austin Theory versus Kevin Owens was pretty good. The Street Profits versus the Brawling Brutes was pretty good. Uh... Rey Mysterio and Matt Riddle versus the Judgment Day was pretty good. The main event was all right and stuff like that. So yeah, it was a it was a pretty good show for tonight's Monday Night Raw. I'll give it eight stars as well. I'll give it pretty good stuff. But yeah, that has been my WWE Monday Night Raw September nineteenth, twenty twenty two reviews. Like, subscribe, subscribe to TNW Wrestling on YouTube. 
subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris, and subscribe to this channel, Chris Lanos, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. They'll all be down there in the description box. And yeah, I'll see you guys later for this Wednesday's AEW Dynamite reviews. See you guys later until then.